Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough 5-3. Get ready to rock or rock. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Let's just get the start. Did what the heck? Oh master, I couldn't fight them all. I'm sorry, Mao. I chased the bad guys here, but they set a trap for me. I was caught off guard. <laughs> Oh, they got you pretty good, eh? <laughs> Looks kind of cramped in there. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. It just said all you kitties look so cozy in there. Not funny, Mo. But if you can get me out, I'll teach a special ninja. <clears throat> teach a special ninja move. Pardon the mucus. All right, all right. I'm just joking. We'll get you out. Don't worry, Starfy. You do the honors. I'll teach you air jump. I'll put it on the ability screen for you, so you won't forget it. After you jump, you can jump again on the air, on thin air. With it, you can reach high places. Yeah! And this is the thing that I need to get stuff in earlier stages of the game, actually. Like the stuff, like, say, in that World 2 level uh, with the geyser area. Yeah, you can use this double jump to get up there now. But I think I'm going to go back to those stages, like, later on and sort of a... Uh, um, catch up refresher sort of part thing because it, it would seem kind of odd to go back to stages like that for the walkthroughs organization and whatnot so yeah all right so what, do you, what else do you guys have to say here now hurry up and use that new ninja, ninja air jump i taught you to rescue me already well this water cat's at a disadvantage even a ninja cat be nice mo sure it can help us now it's time to help her out in return all right, so you can't really do anything here, as you can tell. But look at that, look at the pearls! Look at that! See the pearl, uh, pearl formations there? Yep, there's our double jump, baby. And now we can reach places we have never reached before. Woo! Wait, what's down on the lower level? I, I don't want to forget. I, sh I should say I don't want to miss something over here. I think there's actually, yeah, there's a treasure chest above here. But it's a pretty tricky one to get. You gotta really race the water level here. Because uh, there's something... Uh, first, there's that switch. That's for our kitty cat friend, I think. Uh, no, maybe it's not for the kitty cat friend. By the way, these bumper things are completely invincible. Even though they're not really enemies, they're more like bumpers, so I wouldn't even say... You know, they're invincible from the sake of as they're a living being, because you're not. <laughs> okay, maybe there's not a treasure chest up here, but there are a bunch of pearls. Maybe those are the things that I thought was hard to get, and the treasure chest is somewhere else here. But I do need to raise that water level somewhere, and I think the switch is this way? It has to be somewhere. It must. I must get the pearls. I must rescue Cat. Oh, 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 mm. okay, now, maybe you have to hit, oh, you have to hit both switches to rescue Shurikit. Because they're both identical switches. There we go. <laughs> Poor Shurikit. I'm finally out. Oh, thank you, Master Stuffy. Thank you. Those bad guys are headed that way. When the heavy one gets going, there's really no stopping him. If you go after them, be careful. By the way, who are those foes? They seem to want to steal your small companion. So they're still after me. Somehow they know me. We don't have all day to explain. Let's just get this done so we can get back to Puff Top. I wish I could help you, but I'm exhausted from the battle. You've done enough for now. You rest up. Thanks, Shurikit. And I will go. Good luck, everyone. Thank you again, Master. And, wow, he healed, he healed pretty fast there. Band-Aid's all gone, and he's gone in this traditional fashion. And now, there's the water switch. Now, I remember. What do, you, what do you guys have to say about this now? No time to fool around, Starf. Use that fancy new air jump to find a way out of this place. You're right, let's get going. After all, you never know when those bad guys might show up. True, we have all the time in the world. <laughs> Although, for the sake of YouTube videos, I probably should hurry this up. <laughs> anyway, get that water level up as high as you can. Rush over to the right if you want those pearls. Uh, yeah, this isn't the place that I'm thinking of that has a really um, difficult chest to get via the water. But, uh, 
light is pretty nice to get those pearls though. Alright, I'm gonna reset the water again, push that down all the way. You can tell how high the water goes, I mean, like the limit to the water just by watching it in the background most of the time because the background there is, uh, you know, it's, it's 3D so it's, it gives you a perspective on the surface of the water, typically wherever you are on the screen. Anyway, oh shoot, did I want to do that? I don't think I wanted to do that because I forgot there's a treasure chest in here. <laughs> Yeah, there's a treasure chest off to the left side. Oop, why did I double jump there? I was going to land right on the switch. I swear, the things I do sometimes are so dumb. <laughs> but it happens. It happens. Alright, there we go. Got that chest. Like no one has ever gotten the chest before. Conductor's hat that will match the conductor's uniform. Oop, double jump. There we go. Now, raise the water again. It's a little bit sluggish to have to go uh, have to go back to the switch each time, but the water level raises pretty rapidly. But I mean, I'm not sluggish. It's uh, it's a backtracking thing, is what I'm saying. All right, so you can save your game if you want. I'll glow birdle. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, I missed one. That's sad. Not anymore. In fact, I already got it. Um, this is like a pachinko machine, actually. You can use these two bounce around. Whee! You can collect the big pearls. And you can do this as many times as you'd like just by jumping down uh, to the bottom like that and going around it again until you get all the pearls. If you want to do that, but it's a little bit a little time consuming to do that in all honesty. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go over to the door like that. There we go. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, uh, sorry. I can't use my powers to help you transform right now. I might remember more things to transform you into if you find more of those funny stones. There might be some secrets you can find if you use my power to transform you. But let's keep going for now. We can come back here later after we found more of those stones. So apparently, we don't have the power for this area. Which also means we can't do anything about these guys. See these guys? They are something, actually. But anyway, we gotta pass through this area without being able, being able to 100% this area because we don't have Bunsen's power there. It's another one, another one of those sorts of stages. That was an awesome combo. <laughs> Can I keep it going? Aww. It's another one of those sorts of stages where you have to come back when you have the powers. And that's another reason why I want to do like a follow-up visit to stages in their own separate parts away from the levels uh, in, in the away from level order excuse me because it just keeps things organized uh, even this thing in the ground here that's a something that you can use but you don't have Bunsen's power to be able to use it. it it's in the ground so it doesn't seem to make sense that you can do anything with it but you can actually do something with it and I'll show you how when the time comes. But anyway, I'm gonna have to leave that room for now. Oh no. Globerto again. <sighs> why? Why can't you have more dialogue? And why are you not just like in the middle of a stage or something like that? <laughs> well anyway, um, the other stage is for to unlock a uh, um, a secret stage as you could tell because you know uh, it was an exclamation point and not a treasure chest in Moe's eyes. Uh, you know, it's it's hit the way his sniffer works. He can differentiate between things with his sniffer, and that chest is in plain sight. You could tell as you were jumping around on those barrels, and you have to be jumping around on those barrels in order to get across them. Ah, uh, where did those lunkheads go? I bet that little knucklehead starfish and sure could capture them. I guess I'll just have to do the rest of the work. If some of those get bunsed in, it's going to be big trouble. Hmm. What could Snips mean by that? Ah! It's Ronk! Finally! Ronk gotcha! Don't try any funny business. No serious business either. You're coming with me! Now you all are right there. What did you do with the shard? Protect every little buddy, huh? Here, huh? Don't worry about the shard, Clam. You worry about me. Where'd Papes and Snips go? I hope I sound really tough. Uh, I can't find these guys myself. <laughs> You stay right there. I'm getting my pals here to help take care of you weirdos. Hey, oh, that big guy. Where are you going? Tell us what you know. And he's gone. He let him get away. 
How do you feel about yourselves for letting him get away? What are we going to do about the shark now? That fellow with a belly like a bowling ball wouldn't listen to a thing I said. He's getting those other clones. When I get here, it's gonna be trouble. We gotta stop him. Yeah, true. And... Uh-oh. 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 <gasps> Oh goodness. Oh dear. He's over there. Go get him, Starf. Or should we call Starly? No! No! Oh, alright, Starf. Roll over him. Alright, let's do this. Let's take on Ronk. Here we go! Alright, you he's got this attack, and he's pretty much trapped in that area there. In fact, you could just watch watch his attack pattern like that if you would like to and that arrow when, he, when he's off screen the arrow will point you to where he is but if you press this water switch look at that he floats and it makes him really really slow and vulnerable like incredibly slow and vulnerable <laughs> and you can even just like sit over here oops well sort of you gotta do like a I forgot you gotta do one of these sorts of jumps like a little Kirby jump thing, and then just hit him on the backside like that, even with the water not up. But the water is like easy mode. <laughs> you can pretty much defeat him a whole bunch of ways. You could even, oops, you could even double jump over his attack, uh, like as he's going across the ground. Like, watch this. Just go like that, and then land on his head like so. Like, every time he comes over to one of the sides of the wall, you just gotta listen to him coming, and then, yeah. Then just uh, dodge his stuff. Oh, yeah. You can make a sound effect there. Kind of weird. Oh, he's not making. Maybe, oh, maybe the sound effect was the water that I was hearing. My mistake. Well, he's down. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> All right, he's done. He's down for the count, kind of. <laughs> hey, he got away from us. He's a big fella, but boy, can he move. Let's go after him. We have to find the shards. Chase him. Anything? Else? Anything else? Now you got to Nope else so looks like we're done here couldn't get the secret level unlocked because we don't have Bunston's power to be able to do so but that's okay just keep level 5-3 in mind for later and with that I'm gonna end off the part here I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next part